So one of my students just asked me, Professor Walters, do you plan your examples for class or do they just pop into your head? Well, actually, it's kind of a combination of both of them because when I write my slides for my classes, and I do write all my slides for my classes, I try to make sure it's the examples I know I'm going to use in class that relate to my students, so I have that idea. But the thing is, I make my slides for the next semester, you know, three months before, four months before, so I don't always know what's going to be relevant at that time. So I have my plan kind of preset examples I want to use, but as I'm walking around class, if I see they're not quite getting it, or if something recently has happened in the news that relates to the topic, then it'll be one of those things that pops in my head, hey, I need to talk about this in class and use that example because it's going to be more helpful. So it's kind of like when I do my travel videos. I have the set things I want to talk about, but when I'm in situ or something happens or like I'm here when it's snowing in Innsbruck, like, okay, I need to make sure I'm talking about going to Berg Isle where you can go skiing when you're here and maybe not trying to go see any of the gardens, you know, because they're going to be closed. Like that's going to change up there. So it's a combination of prepared, but being ready with new ideas when they pop into your head. So I hope that answers your question about where my examples come from. So if you have other questions for me, let me know in the comments below.